Cody Sandall, pastor for discipleship at First Presbyterian Church of Bethlehem. I want to tell you one of the theological reasons why you should leave your cell phone, your iPod, your other electronic devices at home when you go on a retreat or a mission trip. This comes from Luke chapter 9. In there, uh, Jesus takes Peter, James, and John up with him to a mountaintop to pray. And while he's, while he's up there, he, he gets transfigured. He becomes this this radiant, you know, they can, they can see him for who he truly is, and he's, he's joined by, by Moses and, and by Elijah, Peter, James, and John, they, they see this. They have what's called the mountaintop experience. It's an amazing thing. And then Peter, uh, he, he loves this experience so much, he wants to stay there forever, wants to build some, some houses and for, to live up there with Jesus and Moses and Elijah forever. And of course, Jesus doesn't let this happen. He then takes them back down to the plain to live out, you know, the rest of their ministry. They go up to the mountaintop, have this amazing experience, then they bring that experience back down to the plain. And here's kind of the dynamic that goes on for a mission trip or a retreat. To be able to have that mountaintop experience, you have to leave the plain. To be able to have something transformative, an experience outside of the normal, you have to leave the normal. You have to leave your everyday connections. And if you have your phone or your, your iPod with, with internet connection, you're going to be you know, checking your Facebook statuses. You're going to be checking to see what other people are doing. You're going to be reading your text messages and probably responding to a couple of them. I have seen students update their Facebook statuses while on a mission trip. So I know that if you have it, you're going to use it. You're still going to be connected back down to what happens every single day. You're going to be stuck in the plane. And if you, don't, if you have those with you, you will not be able to go up to the mountain with Jesus and have the mountaintop experience. You are limiting what can happen and the transformation that can happen in your life if you bring your cell phone, your iPod, or an electronic device. Part of the other thing is that if, you have, you know, if you've got headphones in, you're not connecting with other people. Notice that the mountaintop experience wasn't alone, that Peter, James, and John all went up there with Jesus, that a mountaintop experience needs other people. And for every minute you are plugged into your headphones, you are not plugged into those other people. And again, you're limiting the ability to have that mountaintop experience. Now, if you do have that experience, you're going to, to want to stay there for a while. But of course, you know, we're going to have to come back. You can't stay in the mountaintop forever. It doesn't work. You have to bring it back down to the plane. And here's another benefit. If you have prepped your friends and your family that I'm not going to be able to contact you for a week, you know, if you send me text messages and Facebook messages, you're not going to hear from me this week. Um, when you get back, you get to update them. You get to tell them the story about your mountaintop experience. You're bringing that transformation from the mountaintop down to the plain, and it's an opportunity to share your story. So you get multiple benefits if you leave the everyday at home. You separate from the normal for a short period of time. You can survive. And then you bring that mountaintop experience, that's something different, back into your normal life. That's the theological reason from Luke chapter 9 to leave cell phones, iPods, and electronic devices at home on a mission trip or a retreat. Again, I'm Cody Sandall, pastor for discipleship, First Presbyterian Church of Bethlehem.